The TMR and silage is done. It's time to see how well we fared. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. Today, we've got 1.3 million liters of TMR. Ah oh, yeah, super excited about that. We've also got over here, we have 592,000 liters of silage and we've got 33,000 liters of digestate, none of which we actually worked for. It all did just fine. So let's jump right in. First thing I want to do is I want to jump in. Let's see. Let's jump in this tractor. Right. Actually, you know what? We can put TMR in these, can't we? I believe so. Where's a tractor? Yep. Wait, we got buckets? We got buckets right here, don't we? It's like a whole like 20 million liters. It's crazy. Don't don't look at that. Don't don't look at the combines. No, but don't don't look at that. Yeah, that's what we want right here. So we're gonna jump in here and we are going to put some TMR in there. Now, we've got a bunch of TMR. I was actually getting ready to start fast forwarded through the night so that we could get harvest done. That's why we've got three combines out. I did buy an extra header for the one in the back. Uh, we are running a little low on money though. As you can see, we've only got about 68,000 liters of money. 68,000 liters? Too much farm sim. <laughs> $68,000 left. We do have soybeans in every single field, so at least there's that. Oh, nope. I don't want to put silage in here. <laughs> I, want, I want the TMR, baby. Actually, can we do TMR? Here we go, going up into the route again. Oh, I'm stuck. I've Austin powered this, haven't I? Come on. <laughs> yep, that's a negative. Cannot put that there. So, looks like we're going to have to do it here. Um, the one thing, and I'm seeing this, this tractor right here, along with a couple other things as well, I can crank it hard to the right, but it barely turns to the left. I don't know why that is. If anybody could tell me, let me know. Uh, maybe it's something to do with my controller. You know what? It, it might actually. Let's see here. There's all the way with the... No, actually, the same with the controller and the, the w -doos -doos keys. <laughs> Regardless, this, this the whole episode has just not started well. Let's get this in here. Let's start unloading silage, or loading in silage, rather. Don't care. Come on, just go. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> it would be like this today, wouldn't it? Man, oh man. All right. There's that. We don't need that anymore. What we need is this guy right here. Let's jump in and we are going to start loading up with TMR. Again, we've got 1.3 million liters. We're running low on TMR as it is. Why is that going to be so darn loud? Let's flop that there. I believe it's unloading at 1,000 liters per second. So it's going to take us about 134 seconds, which is a little over two minutes. So see you guys back here in a little over two minutes. While we let that go, we've got 350,000 liters of pig food over here as well. So let's jump in here and let's start overloading pig food. Now again, as always, I do want to hang out and just make sure that nothing kind of goes too much. Here we go. Get to the end. There we go. Let's double check and make sure that everything's good here. Let's see. Little baby piggies. Let's see. 511. Oh, yeah, I forgot I did the... You can ignore that. Uh, so the reproduction rate's good. I tried to get 100,000 pigs, and it, it won't let you. <laughs> I tried. It won't let you have it. So it looks like corn is actually almost all the way up to the top. And what I really don't want to do is be wasteful of the food. Actually, it's going to put it in there, isn't it? Anyway, isn't it? You know what? Do your thing. Put, a, put as much food in there as you want. I want that thing to fill up. So what do we have left in here? We've got 42,000 liters of wheat, barley, and oats. We've got way too much root crop. And we have no uh, soybeans or anything like that. So that's definitely going to be something that we have to do. Let's take a look. There's one thing I always forget about. And that's manure and slurry. So we've got 102,000 liters of manure. 231,000 liters of slurry. And then over here... We've got 92,000 liters of uh, manure, 
We've got 190,000 liters of slurry, and we have 54 thousand liters of milk. Milk is a very good way to make money. Uh, if you guys don't know that, milk is an amazing way to make money. How much is milk selling for right now? Nothing too crazy right now. Only $1,500, $1,200. It's still going to be good money, but I don't want to do that yet. Let's pop over here. How we doing? Seriously? Oh, that's right. That's one million. Not... And we're back. And I changed it. It's now 10,000 liters per second. Yes. It was at 500 liters per second before. Gotta be honest with you. That's a little low for what we need. Uh, to be honest with you, there's a ton in here. This is still going to take a hot minute. But good thing is, now it's not going to take half as long as it was before. It's going to take literally 20 times less. Yeah, 20 times less pretty crazy there and here we go we are all done we've got 1.3 million liters in here man why is that thing so loud we should be able to get right up in here yeah there we go right there and we're gonna dump this now of course this is gonna take us a hot minute to dump out because again this dumps at about the same rate i believe it's somewhere around uh was it 10,000 liters per second maybe 20,000 liters per second it's pretty quick but it's not super fast let's pull up the cows real fast see how that's going let's see and it is filling up that is good so right now everything's just fine i'm gonna go ahead and start speeding time up we're just gonna let everything rock and roll the way it is i'm also looking let's see food mixer 500 s yeah i'm aware that it's all empty <laughs> so let's let that run its course hopefully this will pull <laughs> spit out the food faster than the cows can eat it and we'll see you guys in the morning. Coming into morning now, we've still going. It's still poured out. Again, it's it's going quick, but it's not going as quick as I wanted to. Nonetheless, we've got some daylight. We've got rain coming soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring everything down to zero. We're going to take a look and see how everybody's doing. So food is going in, slowly going up. That is good. Uh, let's see, we've got plenty of straw, a lot of poo in here, so we've got that as well. And then these guys are still rocking and rolling. Silage is still being poured in, TMR is still being poured out. Uh, move over to our pigs, and the really good thing about the pigs is, well, food is still going. Actually, we need to knock that off a little bit, because that is still pouring. How much is left? Yeah, let's go ahead and stop that. There we go. Put an end to that because our corn is not going up anymore. We're just increasing the wheat barley to yada, yada, yada. I don't want to waste anything. Over on our chickens, they're fine. I'm going to ignore them. <laughs> and then it looks like our cows are full. 430,000 liters. How much do we have left in here? 200, 924,000 liters. Okay. Good to know there. Let's take a look at our silo and see what we've got. Let's see, we're rocking... Looks like everything's good there. We can put TMR in there, so that is nice. However, can't put a bunch in there. Not right now. We only put 600,000 liters in there. We've got 900, etc., etc. So we're going to have to figure out what to do with this. Let's take this over. We're going to pour as much of this into the silo as possible. And we need to get ready. We have tons of soybeans that need to get out of the ground. The triple combine harvest is upon us. Let's jump in and let's get this started. So what I'm going to have to do is I am going to have to hit some headlands to make everybody work and make everybody happy. The first one I'm going to be running, we have soybeans in every single field, by the way. I don't know if you saw this. This is us right now. 32, 31, 30, 28, 33, 41, and 42. Soybeans, every single field. Everything has been limed, 100% fertilized, all that good stuff. So this right here is going to be literally the best soybean harvest that we could possibly get. This is what we're going to be getting right here. Hopefully we don't turn into that too much. There we go. So we're going to hit our headlands. We're going to get everything done that we need to do. I found with these headers uh, and this field, uh, for example, that one to two headlands will usually do the trick. Um, with running the way that we run this field. Ooh, make that turn real fast. Yeah, it was too much. There's a whole lot of weight. Just like any combine that's got double wheels in the front, at least modded ones. I don't know what it is with like the end-game end John Deere. 
it's totally fine. However, everything else just seems like it's got a little bit more weight on the front than it really needs to. So maybe, the, I mean, I'm sure there's something there, but I'm not going to get too into it. So let's run back and forth. We're going to run our two headlands on this field. We're going to hire our worker at the very top of the field and let them kind of do it to it. Then we're going to jump on one of our big fields. Headlands are done. Got two headlands all the way around. We had about 24,000 liters in there. Let's jump around to combine number two. This one right here, I think we're going to put this one on our side fields. So right here on our left, we've got two fields right here. I believe that's 41 and 42. So with these, again, we're going to run two headlands, except with these, it's a little bit different, especially this one field right in front of us right here. With this field, what I only have to do is run headlands at the bottom. Am I going to get stuck? Please don't get stuck. <laughs> uh, all we have to do is run headlands at the bottom, just like whenever we're doing any seating or anything like that. At the very top, there's the only thing at the top is just another field. So we've got nothing to worry about there. So all I'm going to do is hit our two headlands here at the bottom. Ooh, missed a little bit. There we go. And then I'm just going to crank the worker on, let them do their thing. And then we're going to hire a third worker on our biggest field, which is 30, 31, 32, I believe. Yep. Yes, it is. And the third combine. See, number three right there. Oh, that's so cool. I tell you what, these combines right here are amazing. I hope we see them soon. Hey, they might be out by the time you guys see this. Of course, if you didn't know, I do record some of these videos a couple days ahead of time. Right now, it's coming out on Friday, recording on Wednesday. I also like, uh, there, was, <laughs> there was somebody in the, one of the previous videos and asked me to play a little bit more realistic. And to that, uh, welcome to the Goham fam. Uh, <laughs> it's over here, I do things a little bit different. And I don't think I've ever really truly explained why I do things differently. There are tons of amazing YouTubers and Twitch streamers and Mixer streamers out there that play Farming Simulator realistically, and they are really good at it. Uh, to a couple that come to mind, uh, Virtual Farmer, um, you got Simulation for the Nation, you got Dagger One, guys like that who are really phenomenal, amazing YouTubers that play realistically super realistically in fact and then you've got guys like dj right here uh <laughs> who are using a combine that holds a million liters with a header that goes 24 miles per hour yeah <laughs> i'm here for the fun man i'm here for the fun i enjoy it somebody asked me a couple days ago said dj why don't you play realistically and, and, and they say, how can you have fun and play unrealistic? <laughs> I have the most fun playing real, unrealistic. Uh, I, I was a console player. That's how I started. And then I got a PC and built the, I custom built the PC. Never done it before. Custom built. And now we're playing on my second custom built PC. Uh, and I love it super much. But the reason I play on PC is because I can play the way I want. I can play realistically on any platform. But to play truly truly unrealistically and just have some fun i needed to play on pc so a that's why i'm on pc and b that's why i play the way that i do because this is so much fun and it's fun to just get it and be like all right how fast can i go have and I, I hold back don't get me wrong i hold back some too but that's why i do what i do it it makes me happy i can bring you guys better content that way instead of just me being like all right we're doing the the thing again we're doing this it's just not fun. It's not fun for me, and I'm not going to be able to bring you guys good content. Plus, it's different. There's not a lot of people out there that play super unrealistic. Um, also, uh, if you guys are curious, you've probably seen the way I've been doing this field right here. Boo! Oh, don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. So what I did was I hit two headlands at the top. The reason I hit two headlands up there at the top is because there's stuff up there to hit, and I don't want to hit anything. Um, and then I'm just doing one headland around the entire rest of the field, Really don't need to do anything down here at the bottom, but I'm doing it anyway. I think it's going to make it work just a little bit better. And I've always found that it gives it just a little bit extra room to turn around. Uh, and that extra room to turn around is very, very good. So let's see. We've got 16,000 liters rocking and rolling in here. We've got 20,000 in there and 48,000 in there. So we have a pretty good set going right now there's that 
Oh, spin it around, spin it around. Yeah, man, I love these big old tires on here. These things are sweet. And now, since we're down here, all I have to do is hire a worker. Now this worker is good to go as well. Now let's do a little bit of babysitting. So we have two, 300, oh wow, that's a lot more than I thought we were gonna have. 324,000 liters of TMR in here. I need to find something to do with this because this is way too much TMR, way too much. Uh, I know we've got, say, what, 600,000 liters in there now. We're gonna have to put this somewhere. I don't think I should have taken it out. Actually, there's nowhere to put it. We'll have to put it in a totally different silo. I don't think there's any more silos around the uh, map either. Let's see. And there's nowhere to sell TMR. TMR is only good for one thing. And that's your pigs. Or pigs, goodness gracious, your cows. Yep. I think we might be slam out of luck on this one. Can we put it back in? Negative. Okay. Well, it looks like this trailer is good for only one thing now. <laughs> Unless we could get some more cows. Which we could. We just barely have any money right now. Um, let's see. Do we have anything we can sell to make a little bit of profit? Uh, what, what is that? 2,100 liters of <laughs> barley. Why is that in there? We got 190? Well, wow. 100 and, 119,000 liters of corn. We could sell that. Pretty decent price. $789 for that. That's not too bad. Why don't we do that? Let's get some corn to sell. And this is going to be the truck we have to use for it. And we're going to get our sell on over here at AgriXJS. Oversized load. All right. So again, getting almost $800 per thousand liters with this. So I think we're going to get some pretty good money off of it as well. See, money's going up. Money is good. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the money that we make. And we're going to buy some extra cows. Because we've got, well, too much food. So we need to get those cows. Now, let's take a look at the cows we've got right now. And let's see what we can do from there. So we've got 123 cows right now. So then the uh, reproduce, or reproduction, rate, reproduction rate is one every 10 hours currently. Next animal in 1.3 hour, one, one and a half hours. And they're taking about 480 liters, uh, 480,000 liters. Well, with what we've got left, we would have to almost double the amount of cows that we have. Yep. So what we're going to try to do is buy as many as possible. So we're up to $122,000 right now. That's good. So let's head back, fill back up with some corn. We don't have too much left. We're going to fill that up, bring it back, sell that, and buy some cows. Let's go. And after a second sell, we are up to, what are we up to? That's another 38000 so we're up to 161. dollars Okay, not too bad, not too bad. What else do we have going on? Well, what else do we have that we could sell? I know we've got milk. I know that we've got some sugar beets. We've got like 40,000 liters of sugar beets. We have way too many sugar beets currently, so why don't we do this? Let's go get some sugar beets. Let's bring those back. I know we've got some manure and stuff like that, so maybe we can sell some manure. I know we've got slurry as well. And... Just judging by it, we might be able to hook up a slurry tank to the back of this. Ooh, I'm gonna give it a try. Also, let me show you my uh, shortcut right through here. Boom. Actually, I think I did it on, on screen last time around. Through there and through there. You just keep going full speed, on, well over 60 miles per hour with this guy on the back. Now, how's everybody doing rocking around through here? This guy is almost done, probably close to being done. This field over here is still going to take some time. And then 41 looks like it's almost finished. Maybe got one more run to do. And then I know that field 42 after that's going to need some time. Ooh, a little bit of glitchy going on there. All righty. Let's make this happen. So here's what we've got. We've got 40,000 liters of sugar beets. And we have... A trailer on the back that is going to aid us in everything. But unfortunately, today we are all out of time. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow for the conclusion of what, whatever in the world we're doing today. Can we fill it up from there, Slurry? Yes, we can. But with all that being said, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Join the GoHam fam and turn those notification bells on. That way you never miss a Let's Play right here on Lone Oak or any video for that matter. 
That being said, hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Peace.